clear that the New York Times is engaged in a whitewash of the real sources of this crisis and doing a deep disservice to its readers. And it's clear that the New York Times continues its whitewash and its disservice to its readers. Check out this latest blog post at FAIR, where Peter Hart points out that the New York Times rewrites its Gaza headline. Was it too accurate? The original headline said, Four Young Boys Killed Playing on Gaza Beach. Hart writes, Yesterday, the New York Times posted its first account of the Israeli strike that killed four young Palestinians on a beach in Gaza. The headline looked like this. And he shows where it says, Four Young Boys Killed Playing on Gaza Beach. That headline appropriately conveys the horrors witnessed and documented by the Times reporters. But at some point, around 9 p.m., according to the website News Diffs, the headline was changed to the version that appears on the front page of the New York Times today. Boys drawn into Gaza Beach and into center of Midi strife. Was there something wrong with noting in the headline that the boys were killed? Do readers learn more being told they were quote-unquote drawn into the strife? Headlines are one very prominent way that news stories are framed. In this case, it does a disservice to the reporting underneath. I'll put a link to this blog post in the video description, and I'll also put a link to the Representative Press blog in the video description. As someone informed me, it is sad I have to resubscribe to you for the third time. I never get any of your new videos on my channel. And I've heard this from other people. One thing you might want to try is to subscribe to the Representative Press blog. I post my new videos to the blog, and if you subscribe to the blog by email, hopefully then you'd be able to be notified when I upload a new video. I want to thank everyone who's been sharing this video. Here's a recent comment saying that they're inspired by Claire Daly. If you haven't seen that video, please check that out.